Hey guys, Ben Hart here, and I thought we'd do something fun. I thought we'd do a little uh, telecaster kind of country lesson. Um, you know, and this works on country gospel stuff for sure. So um, one thing that happens a lot is when you go to solo, and that's when somebody looks at you, the song's been stated, and sometimes there's not even melody involved. You just start. <laughs> You know, it's your turn to, to kind of show off a little bit, um, you know. So there's a lot of songs that start out with uh, two measures of G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then go to a C chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's talk about a pattern that I use and kind of what I'm thinking about to cover uh, when you start out a solo in G. Because you know, like, there's just a lot of them that have... G, you know, for a couple measures, and then, and then goes to C. So we're going to use this pattern. So if we're thinking, so kind of play that in your head. Here we go. So the pattern, now I made it into C there, but I went. And then that is where the... C comes in. So let's talk about what I'm thinking about. First thing I'm thinking about is the chords. I know I got two measures of G that I got to cover. And um, and maybe I don't think about it in measures when it's happening. I just think, hey, you know, I'm going to start in on this pattern that I've created in this style. But um, we could, well, another time. I, I just want to give you something useful. Um, so at, you know the E chord like this. You know your regular E chord. Uh, let's bar an E chord, you know. Do it with these three fingers and this. And if you can't do that, that's fine. I just want you to picture that. If you can picture that, you've been playing the guitar, you know an E chord. So that makes a G chord here. All right? So there's a G. Now, I also think about it being unbarred. Unbarred, I guess that's it. And just down here. So, yeah, all the open notes don't work, but these three notes... So I'm picturing that in my mind. I'm really picturing the, that three. And then sometimes if I want it bluesy, which we'll do here, I'm thinking about the E7 shape. So we're going to say that's the E shape, because it is, and then add the flat 7 to it. I just want you to know. So I'm picturing up here in between uh, the third and the fifth, this barred G chord or E chord. You know, it's E shape, but it makes it a G chord. Um, and then I'm picturing this when I'm between the 5th and the 7th, and I'm just picturing part of that, and I'm playing around that, but I know those are kind of my core tone notes, and I'm playing notes around it. So I'm not going to tell you how I figured out all this today, but I'm going to give you a pattern. I just want you to know I'm kind of thinking about those two positions right here. So here we go. We're going to start out on a G on this low E string on the 3rd fret. Power note, low G note. Here we go. So we're going to get through that point. So we're going G, third fret. All right. And then we're going to go to seventh fret. All right. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Sixth fret sliding with our pinky to the seventh fret on that low E string. Okay. Like that. All right. Then we're going to the next string, playing fifth fret. So we got... We got seventh fret hammer on to eighth fret on the same string that a string so not the lowest one the next one up the a string but we're fifth fret so that's a d and see i'm i'm picturing that chord so there's a chord tone note it just helps me and then so fifth seventh hammer on the eight with your pinky you can slide that if your pinky's weak but try to get your pinky up all right and then fifth fret on the next string, D string. So we're working our way this way. <laughs> and there's a G note. So that's a good one to land on. But we're not going to land on it real fast. Um, so here we go. There's the fifth fret on the D string. So look at this lower middle string right there on the fifth fret. Here we go. So. All right. See that? All right. So now... Now we're going to go to the seventh fret on that G string. So, 
and then I'm going to jump to the next string, but we got to kind of go back to this position right here, okay? Um, for just a brief second. And we're going to go from this third fret and slide into this chord tone of this E from B flat to B, and we're going to go third fret to C. Sorry, third fret to uh, fourth fret to B. And we're going to keep that held down, and we're going to actually jump back to another string, back to this G string to this... Oh, to the D string to this G note. So we're gonna end up doing this part of that E chord with these two fingers. So we're gonna go. So, so far we got. Gonna go back to that keep that held down and we're gonna go back and hit that B note that fourth fret on the G string and we're gonna half step our way up we're gonna go fourth fifth fret all on this G string and then we're gonna go six and slide into seven so and then so we go da, da. And then we're going to hit with our middle finger. This is that seventh note. The sixth, uh, the sixth fret on the B string. So not the highest one, the one right next to it, the B string. All right? And then we're gonna slide down to the fifth fret. And that actually gives us into that third measure. And now I'm picturing a C chord in an A shape. But I'm gonna go ahead and complete that so it makes sense to you. So we got. Now we're on the C, so here we go. Okay, so there's a quick little pattern that you can use two measures from G and then it gets into a C. Now, if you were going to a D chord or something, you just, where you slide would be different. You know, you need to slide to a chord tone. You could go up instead of that C chord. But that's for a different lesson. I thought I would give you a pattern to start a solo in the key of G. So it's so imagine this. Here we go. I got for today hope you enjoyed this little telecaster lesson and um there's a lot of songs that just have a couple measures of g um i know gospel songs right off the you know hymns and stuff even you know um what a fellowship what a joy of mine you know so uh they could be at the end of leaning on the everlasting arms it's your turn messed up after that but you get the idea so there's a lot of songs that have two measures of g to c and that's one way and one little pattern to approach it all right hope you enjoyed it